Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about minerals. That is introduction and classification of minerals. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to stay connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. Minerals. What are minerals? Minerals are inorganic chemical elements that occur naturally in food, in body and in environment. So what are minerals? Minerals are inorganic chemical elements where you can see minerals. Minerals are present in our food Minerals are present in our body and minerals are also present in the environment. Why we need minerals? We know vitamins and minerals are called protective foods. So they are required only in small quantities but their function is very vital to the body. That is their function plays a major role in maintaining the structure and function of the body. So let's see what are all the functions of minerals in general. Minerals helps to regulate body fluids. Minerals helps in maintaining acid base balance. Minerals helps in building up of tissues. Minerals helps to form body structure and minerals assist in body functions. So what are all the functions of minerals? It helps to maintain the fluid balance. It also helps to maintain the acid-base balance. It helps in building up of tissues. It forms the body structure and it assists in body functions. Let's see the classification of minerals. Minerals are classified as major minerals or trace minerals which is otherwise called as trace elements. So under major minerals what and all comes we will see calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sodium, chloride and sulfur. So under major minerals, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sodium, chloride and sulfur. Under trace minerals or trace elements, we have iron, iodine, zinc, copper, fluoride, manganese, selenium, chromium, molybdenum. In trace minerals itself we have ultra trace minerals. So what and all comes under ultra trace minerals are arsenic, boron, cadmium, nickel, silicon and vanadium. Let us see the requirement of minerals. In the classification, we have seen major minerals and trace elements. What is the difference between major minerals and trace elements? Let us see now. Major minerals is otherwise called as macro minerals. Macro means major. Okay, big. Okay, so major minerals are otherwise called as macro minerals. The required amount of these major minerals is greater than 100 milligram per day. So you have to take more than 100 milligram per day these major minerals. These major minerals are supplied through the diet. Next to moving on to micro minerals which is otherwise called as trace minerals or trace elements. The required amount is lesser than 100 milligram per day. Okay, so the required amount is only less than 100 milligram per day, and this is also supplied through the diet. Okay, unless and until there is a deficiency, most of the minerals are supplied by means of diet. If there is a deficiency, only you have to go for medications or supplements mineral supplements for example calcium supplements iron supplements like that okay so minerals plays a very vital role you have both 
macro minerals and micro minerals both macro and micro minerals are required only in less quantities but they play a very vital role in maintaining the structure and function of the human body okay so hope it's clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe my previous videos i have posted in the description link if you have not watched it please go and watch it thank you friends